This is Camp Kennedy. All right, we got a little bonus video for you. I'm hanging out with Amy and we're gonna feed a baby kinkajou. Yes, we are. All right. This little guy is one month old. Little male here. Aww. I know. That's why you're blanking. I got another one here for you. Aww. Are you kidding me? Look is at that. Is that not overload? That looks kind of like it's one of my old uncles. Aww. No, really, they're bald and kind of cute. He says, why did you wake me? I'm an old man. So these guys are uh, related to um, raccoons? They are related to raccoons. Basically, this is a South American raccoon. Okay. Which is kind of funny because, of course, our raccoons here, they will get up in trees and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Making him go potty. You gotta wow. stimulate him. This is what his mother would do. Ah. Yeah, his mother would stimulate him to go to the bathroom. So before I feed him, every time before I feed him, I stimulate him, make sure to get him to go to the bathroom. And why would you stimulate, like, why does he have to go to the bathroom before he eats? Well, for him, they usually just eat better, kind of like okay. emptying out to ah. fill back up again. Makes sense. You know? Um, kind of just helps him kind of wake up a little softer and everything, gets him, he knows what's coming next, food's coming next, so he's more willing to take the bottle. So, yeah. What it's about it's. these guys' as pets? I mean, what's the scoop with them? Is well, this how this animal came to you guys? This guy came to us because somebody had a pair that oh. bred, and, um, which obviously we, we don't recommend, um, because what happened was, is in the environment the parents were in, they actually started to neglect the baby. So, we ended up with the baby because the parents weren't taking care of it. Okay. Um, and these guys here as a pet, I mean, they're very arboreal, so they live up in the trees. Um, and they're a wild animal. I mean, if you've ever come in contact here in Florida with a raccoon, yeah. they're not exactly the most greeting creature. You know, they're not terribly welcoming to you. Um, so, these guys have a lot of capabilities similar to those of monkeys. Oh, really? Yeah, they have so prehensile tails? They have a prehensile tail. They're very good climbers and everything. There we go. Good job, kid. I know, the glamorous life, right? People yeah. always come up to me, I want to take care of baby animals. I'm like, sure you do. Yeah, I like you know, my... until they poop on you. Yeah. And... I like my scaly animals. It's just a lot less work for me. Well, they're endearing. Considering bottles about every three hours. No way. Yeah, that's why I look so tired all the time. Oh my God. Yes, all right. so... so we got a bottle. Yeah, we got his little bottle But here. it's in hot water now. Yeah. You have to keep it as warm as the mother. Is exactly. that what you try to warm it up. And of course, you don't want to zap in the microwave or anything because okay. that can take nutrients out of it. So you do the, the old fashioned double boiler method. All right. And I always measure out how much I've got in there. So just under one and a half ounces. And it usually takes about a half an ounce of eating. Okay. So, and it's just a matter of getting him to. It, 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 what's it called, Greg? It's just that little uh, teat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sucking on the teat of the thing. Uh huh. Yep. So he does pretty good. He's just now starting to get his teeth actually. So sometimes he just tends to chew on it for a little while before he actually starts to drink. Just fine, just teething like any other baby. How long before this animal is on solid foods then? Um, we've got a couple more weeks to go so before we're on solid foods again. And plus just for the, the making sure the nutrients are all proper, you want to keep the formula you know, introduced into the diet for, for quite a while until he's at least a few months old. So how much does he uh, drink? Uh, usually about a half of an ounce. Okay. Yeah, so you can imagine tiny little amount, but just a tiny little guy. And then he's just going to go back into the uh, warm yep. uh, inquiry. Yep, he'll go back in the incubator. Um, these guys being from South America, they're used to warm tropical environments. So we actually keep the incubator right around 93 degrees. Wow. Yeah, okay. so it seems to work best for him. So I try to keep him in there as much as possible. They're nocturnal. So during the day like this, he's very, very lazy. Okay. But like this evening when we do nighttime bottles and stuff, he's much more active. And he's, you can see he's starting to learn how to kind of hold himself up and climb a little bit. Nice. And, and then long term, what's uh, going to happen with this guy? Long term, this guy will be an educational ambassador for the species. You know, teaching people why they don't make good pets and teaching people about um, the differences between the animals that we have here in Florida versus other environments. Very cool. Well, there you have a little bonus video, guys. So uh, we're going to continue to feed this cute little varmint. And uh, we'll see you next week with another bonus. Thanks again.